America. We're asking what Colorado hospitals are doing to prepare. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Heather Skold. And I'm James Jarman. And first up, a Colorado Springs unsolved murder. The victim's family searching for answers still four years after he was shot and killed. Stefan Wilson was found dead in his apartment on October 1st, 2010. His killer has not been found. As KRDO News Channel 13's Dana Molina reports, the family hopes you and technology will help. It's been a long four years for Stefan Wilson's mother and sister. It's been murder. It has been hard. It's just a big gaping hole still. The 32-year-old was found dead inside his Colorado Springs condo on Delmonico Drive near Rock Rimmon on October 1st, 2010. He was shot in the head. It's bad enough that we've lost him, but to lose him that way is really, really, really frustrating, and it's very traumatic. On the fourth anniversary of his death, his family remembers happier days. Photo after photo brings back another memory. To know him was to love him. He had a smile that would just warm up any room, and a heart so big that I wonder how it even stayed in his chest. And he gave the best hugs, and that's what I miss most, are his hugs and words of comfort and strength. Wilson's mom and sister hope keeping his memory alive will help solve the cold case. And technology is on their side. The Colorado Bureau of Investigation released an updated cold case website just last week. It has more pictures of the victims and more information about their cases. The primary goal is to not only offer visitors very robust information, but the hope is that memories could potentially be triggered and additional information could be relayed to detectives working these cases. Any updates to that website will help our case and hopefully any other cases that are cold cases right now to warm them up and, and get these families, including our families, some closure. And we do have a link to that CBI website on KRDO.com. Just look under the hot button. Both the CBI and the victim's family hope you'll look through the website at these cases. And if you remember even a minor detail that you will give the law enforcement agents.